You might be surprised to learn that the biggest source of renewable energy in the United States isn't solar, and it's not wind power either. It's actually biofuels. And here's what you need to know about them. Last year, the United States produced 13 billion gallons of ethanol from corn. That's enough to take a major chunk out of U.S. oil consumption. The problem with first-generation biofuels like corn ethanol, however, is that they're not very efficient from an energy perspective. You have to use a lot of corn to produce not a whole lot of fuel. And that's raised a lot of concerns among environmentalists that corn ethanol may actually be driving up the price of food, which has an effect on the poor in the United States and around the world. So for the biofuel industry to continue to grow, what they need is to create what are called second-generation biofuels. These are fuels that will come not from food-based crops like corn, but from crop waste or plants like switchgrass that don't compete with, with food, or even from sources like algae. Back in 2007, Congress passed comprehensive energy legislation that had plans for the U.S. biofuel industry to produce millions and millions of gallons of biofuels from these alternative sources. The problem is that it turned out to be a lot harder to do. So it's only now that you're beginning to see companies actually develop new sources of biofuels that don't compete with food. Over in Europe, actually, there's a company called Novozymes that just opened up a new factory that will produce 75 million gallons of alternative biofuel from corn stover. Here in the United States, there's a company called Solazyme that's actually developing custom-made biofuel that would come from algae. And they're developing a major new plant down in Brazil that will produce over 100 million gallons of that fuel. The problem here is that it's still very expensive to develop this kind of fuel, especially compared to first-generation biofuels. But as the technology improves and as new plants are built, hopefully the price will come down, and biofuels that don't compete with food will become a reality.